Okay, what I'm going to do today is make a, a chair cushion with uh, lugs on either side. First of all, you get fabric, make sure the pad is going the right way so it'll be smooth to the front, rough to the back. The first thing what I normally do would be square it off with a square and a straight edge. And that's going to give me a straight starting line for everything. What you would normally do, you would measure between the arms of the chair or the sofa. And that's going to give you your, your finished measurement. And you're going to be wanting the, a half inch seam around that. So first of all, I'm just going to use a cushion here and draw around that to make two panels. This is the cushion. Front, so make sure your pile of the fabric should be going to the front. Then we can draw around the cushion, roughly. We can square that all off later. So we only need to do the one side for that. So now we can make sure all those edges are square on the cushion. I'm just doing this roughly. Okay, that's giving us our shape for the cushion. Next, I'm going to cut this shape out and I'm going to allow myself roughly a half inch, which is going to be for my seam. Now we're going to make this cushion a double peg cushion. Now we've got the shape for a cushion. What we're going to do is fold it in half, make sure all sides are even and equal. And we're also going to do a little neck in the centre of the back of the centre of the front. And if anything's not lining up, if it's out by far, just trim off that little bit of access. Now we've got a cushion that is equal on either side. So what we want to do next is to cut another panel exactly the same as that one. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip the cover over, make sure we're still keeping it there front. And you can line that off with the, the edge that we marked earlier on, keep it nice and square. We know that's the front, but also not front on your cushion anyway. And now we're gonna chalk the other panel out. So it's gonna be exactly the same as this panel. And now we have the opposite side. So what we're gonna do Let's cut that out. Right, we've got the two panels cut out now, your top and bottom. What we're going to do now is cut out the border, which would roughly be one and a half widths plus one and a half widths. 
plus your zip border. Now I'm going to cut this border six inches so that will allow me a half inch either side for my seam. And again, you have to make sure that your pad is running the right way. This time, the rough will be top, the rough part of your pad will be the top of your panel. Now bear in mind if you're doing it in stripe, everything has to be centered and everything has to tally up. Even sometimes that will happen for your, your paper. So now we've got the borders. Right, so I'm going to pause this and I'm going to cut the borders. Okay, now that I've cut out my two borders, what we'll do again, fold it in half, make a neck at the top and at the bottom, and by right, that should tally up with your panels. Set that aside. On the other one, make sure we have top marked on either side. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut this one in half because we're going to join that up to our front border. Now we're going to set that aside. Next, what we want to do is do our pavings. So what it should roughly take is around three widths for our piping. So we're going to need to do this three times. The width of the fabric is roughly around about 56, 57 inches. So we're going to do three pavings in this. One of the first jobs we're going to do is we're going to run the piping up on the machine, join them, and run it up. So that's giving us our, our three pipings, and we're going to cut them out next. They're roughly about an inch and a half, an inch and three quarters. The next thing we've got to cut is our zip border. You can have the zip border running the width of the back of the cushion, or you can have it coming around the back of the cushion by a couple of inches which is going to make it easier to fill so the border was six inches so we're going to the, the border for the cushion so we're going to make the zip border six and a half inches because we need that little bit extra to, to turn around when we're sewing the zip on to that so mark it make sure you got your tops and your fabric sections of our cushion top and bottom panel we've got our borders and we've got our piping so that's about it the next stage will be sewing it up okay so this is all our panels and everything that we need to make up our double piped chair cushion two panels top and bottom front border zip border pipings and these two pieces will be joining on to this border. Make sure that the pad is still running the right way for these. So I'll roughly show you what it sits like on the cushion. Don't throw away any of your scrap material just yet. Just always hold on that because you never know what you might need. To put in a little panel here or there or add that little bit of pavement somewhere. So We've got our top panel, panel marked front with an X on it, you know it's the front anyway in the chair, but for, for a straight cushion you don't. Okay, so that's going to be roughly going up there. The next and this one here, this remark top and bottom, is going to meet up here. We're going to stitch that around that. And those other pieces that we had are going to join in here. This is going to be our zip border, which is going to go on back and round the edge slightly, which is going to make it easy to fill because we've got lugs in this cushion. So what we're going to need for sewing up is some piping cord and some zip and some glides. And the thread, always use 
the best possible thread to the best possible match in your cover. So it's like a terracotta, we're going to be probably using red, something close to that, something that's not going to stand out.